is North Dakota Today. Good morning, good morning. Hi everyone, welcome on into North Dakota Today. We have a bit of a set change today mm -hmm. for an exciting show ahead for you. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Ashlyn Hill. And I'm Sophia Richards. Yes, as I mentioned, we will have some musical guests on today. I'll tell you who it is. It's the Looney Tune Ensemble for an upcoming concert with the FM Symphony. They really needed the space to mm -hmm. kind of take over in our studio today to kind of give us a preview of that upcoming show uh, in the era of your favorite cartoon classics. So we'll get into that way later. In the meantime, though, if we can believe it, the countdown is on. Take a look at this post that we submitted to our North Dakota Today Facebook page. And it's laying out the rest of our year, everybody. The countdown to Halloween, the countdown to Thanksgiving, winter, Christmas, and even New Year. 27 days to Halloween, so can you believe it? No. I don't even know how we're already into October. I, it doesn't feel real. Actually, it feels real today because the weather is more <laughs> of an October yeah, vibe. Yeah, it's kind of gloomy, huh? Yes, but oh my gosh, Christmas, thinking about Christmas just seems like it's too soon. Yeah, no, I couldn't agree more. So I have my phone up here, I typically don't, but it's because I posted this to our Facebook page and I wanted to know what everyone else was thinking when they take a look at that countdown and kind of see what everyone's favorites were. Mm -hmm. And you guys are some jokesters. We've got some comedians out there. <laughs> uh, we posted, we said, what's your favorite, you know, out of the options is what that was meant to be. And everyone said, spring, summer, summer, <laughs> spring, spring, summer. And I thought, what the heck? No one's excited for, Halloween or Thanksgiving mm -hmm. or anything. So I left my comment. I am truly most excited for the upcoming holiday season for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. uh, I love Thanksgiving. I go home on Thanksgiving. I'm yes. around my family on Thanksgiving and I love you guys so much. But I commented just to try to, you know, coax some people into being honest. Yep. <laughs> so I said Thanksgiving, what's better than a family feast in football? And then of course a few people joining in on the conversation. Mm -hmm. But what about you? What's your favorite? Christmas. Yeah. Hands down Christmas. I love the music. I love the, you know, going to church, being yeah. with family. It's yeah, just yeah, my yeah. favorite. I'm like getting giddy thinking about Christmas. Aww, just the lights, the decorations, yes. the whole ambiance of the season, really, yes. huh? Also, I am obsessed with gingerbread cookies. Oh, makes the best gingerbread cookies. Okay. One year I ate, no joke, you guys, 17. <laughs> gingerbread men. It was ridiculous. <laughs> they were so good though. You know, tis the season. Tis that's the what season. that sounds like to me. Holiday calories don't count, I heard. Yeah, that's what I heard yeah. too. Santa told me himself. <laughs> I want you to know that you just publicly invited your aunt to make us all cookies though. Yes, please, Auntie Brandy. Please. <laughs> <laughs> this is a public, <laughs> please, please. Other people did end up saying Christmas. Mm -hmm. You know, the decorations, the sights, the sounds, the lights, the decorations. Kelly, though, coming in saying spring. Troy says summer. Donnie says summer. You guys are jokesters. Well, I have already seen Christmas decorations out, so it's happening. <gasps> that has we been, to or not. and that's been a big uh, kind of a debacle in yes. conversation because, yeah, we just got into October. Does it bother you to see Christmas decor out and about so early? I know a lot of spooky season enthusiasts who are not ready to skip over Halloween. No, because we still have two big holidays before that. Yeah, so we've got gotta, time. Yeah, we've got time, everybody. I say. Live your life, do what makes you happy, <laughs> and just let other people do what makes them happy. That's always, you know, our best bet, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of wishes granted and happiness, yes. tell us what's going on. Actually, I know these two girls. Mayville <laughs> is very close to my hometown, but Mayville sisters Abby and Erin Freeland were pulled on stage with Carrie Underwood what, in what? Vegas. How much fun. Vegas, baby. Yes, they are both engaged. They were celebrating their upcoming weddings. Let's take a look. See some people like pointing at other people and they say people like, mm -hmm. okay. There's a bunch of people in the back jumping up and down. Can you bring me up? I see white. I see, I see two people. It's okay. We're seeing double. What's the deal? My name is Abby. Abby? Erin. Abby and Erin. Okay. You're Erin. 
rocking on stage to the tune of Pretty Woman. It doesn't get better than that, huh? How much fun. For any woman yeah. walking on the stage. <laughs> Look at their boots, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. How I fun. Love this. Yes. See, Vegas, so you know, sometimes dreams do come true in Vegas. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you can videotape things to come back with you like this. Yes. <laughs> yeah. This one did not stay in Vegas. <laughs> no, how fun. And so fun to shine a local spotlight on them. Congratulations. Okay, for our last roundup of stories this morning, check this out. A 104-year-old Chicago woman is now believed to have set a record for being the oldest person in the world to tandem skydive. So here she is getting strapped in, taking those final steps as she <gasps> launches out of the plane. Oh my gosh. That is Miss Dorothy Hoffner, everybody. She completed that jump from a plane 10,000 feet off the ground on Sunday. She is 104 years old. She's topping the world record, which listen to this, was set by a 103 year old from Sweden in 2022. And so Miss Hoffner here took that challenge personally. Wow. <laughs> they say that she didn't even start skydiving until she turned 100. Oh my goodness. Bucket well, list come to life. Yeah, that video was amazing. That made my day. Yeah, I, uh, it freaks me out actually. It could yeah. never be me, but I'm my so heart proud of you. when she jumped out. Yeah, but congrats, but set a world her, record. Yeah, oh my goodness. Have fun. <laughs> All right, we'll stick around. We have a really jam-packed show for you today, and we're kicking things off with NDSU and UND working together. We'll tell you how after the break. <laughs>